What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out uh, a video by Forces News that came out two days ago. Well, three days ago when you watch this. Um, someone sent it me and said, you should totally check this out. It's called, uh, the video is called Norway's Camouflaged Skjold, S-K-J-O-L-D, class Corvette, designed to hit hard and then disappear. It looks really cool. It's only a short video by Forces News, so... We should take a look, we should discuss it, and we should see what it's all about. But just from the thumbnail, it looks really cool. So let me pull this up, let me put subbies on, and let's see what they've got to say. A fast reaction craft designed to hit hard and then disappear. This is one of the Norwegian Navy's Skull class corvettes. It was designed specifically for anti-invasion operations in the littoral waters of Norway's fjords. It's, All right, it, wait, let me pause it before this next person talks. Look at that. That's so cool. Like, just the design of it is really, really impressive. And the um, the camouflage, like, the angleness of the camouflage really suits well with the water, doesn't it? Very interesting. Massive gun on it, and it's relatively small. It's it, it's not many nations used to operate in, a, in an environment like we are doing here in, in Norway because the coastline is very special uh, you can't find it too many places in the world mm. so they are uh, specialized in operating along the coasts yeah it's not new oh look at that shot i think my head's just in the way here but let me just move away look at that shot they look really cool don't they super like advanced in a way um i feel like the uk should have something like this just because obviously we're an island and so i feel like we could do with more vessels that are a bit smaller and they're a bit more rapid response like this. But its design has stood the test of time. Right now it's going in for something called the midlife update actually, so that we can extend the lifetime of these units. Uh, it, it is based on the fast patrol boats which we had until 2008. And Interesting. We, uh, and then we developed the Schultz class which took over in the beginning of uh, in 2000. And 10, uh, 11. Okay, so they're not like super new then. They are. They have been around for a little while now. Uh, and it's been operating since. So now it's time for an upgrade of it. But uh, of course, we're the same uh, weapon load and the same uh, and the same tasking actually. So they're just over ten year old. So they're not nothing new. They're new to me. I've never seen them before. And they're going for a mid update which makes me super intrigued on what they're going to be upgrading it's probably going to be a lot more internal stuff than anything else but still the 155 foot vessel is one of the fastest combat ships in the world reaching Whoa. speeds of up to 60 knots Whoa. it has an air cushioned catamaran design which makes it highly maneuverable and its shallow draft allows it to access waters others can't and while it's hard to spot thanks to its camouflage paint scheme it packs quite a punch its weapons include eight naval strike missiles and a 76 millimeter super rapid gun why has the uk not got something like this like, why are we not making something like this? It makes no sense, does it? Norway was planning to retire these Corvettes in 2025, but their service life has been extended beyond 2030. Wow. Adler, Forces News, Norway. If they're extended past 2030, then they're obviously incredibly good ships, vessels. I don't know if you would call it a ship. It's not that, is it big enough to be called a ship? Still super cool. I didn't know anything about this thing. I mean, in fact, let me pull it back up real quick. Let's get uh, let's get the shot up real quick. She said missiles, didn't she? She said it's got missiles. Is that what she Skin said? Packs quite a punch. Its weapons include eight naval strike missiles and a seven eight naval strike missiles. Twenty-six millimeter super rapid gun. Holy! So we can certainly pack a punch, can't it? Like, I feel like the UK, if anyone should have anything... Does the UK not have any small... Let me have a look real quick. I don't think the UK's got anything as good as that. They have a patrol boat, but it doesn't have a big gun on it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Small, fast patrol boat paired from UK Navy to make list. Yeah, cool, but it doesn't, look at it, it doesn't have, this was 2017, look at this thing, it doesn't have a big gun on it though, it doesn't look anywhere near as good, 
And I feel like, and I know there's a lot of drama in the UK right now when it comes to uh, immigrants coming over on ships and stuff like that. But even if you just ignore that, right, and think about the threat, because, you know, Europe isn't as um, stable as it was five, ten years ago, is it? Let's be honest, with the whole Ukraine-Russia thing and with the whole Israel-Palestine thing. Like, there's a lot more tension around the world. And so it would make sense if the UK doesn't have a, a, a large amount of money to make more big ships. Why not make a few of these smaller ones like this... Uh, how do you pronounce it? Schald? Schald? Class? Corvette? Why don't we make something small like this and have a few of them? that could be used as rapid response. It makes complete sense. I don't know why. In fact, look at the first comment. Look at the first comment here. We in the UK should have something small and punchy like this. Maybe not a catamaran, but something more like a wee patrol boat with a couple of machine guns. Literally the first comment on that, on that video. It makes no sense. I mean, I get that maybe there's like a, there's a, one thing with the military is they're not going to spend the money unless they really need it, are they? Let's be honest. And we can all agree on that. They're not going to spend money on something like a small patrol bar like this unless you really need it. And do does the UK really need something like this? I say at the moment, it, it probably does. It probably does. And if anything, it can just be more of an intimidating factor. Like we have a lot of these boats coming over and, and, and again, some of them, I, I don't know that much about these these boats coming over. But, like, if you're seeing someone like this zooming up close by, people are going to think think twice about, you know, trying to get trying to get over to the country unnecessarily. Do you know what I mean? And I won't get into that because I don't know enough about it to give a proper opinion on it. A lot of people give opinions on things they don't know about, and I'm not one of them people. I don't want to do that. Uh, but I do think that we should have some sort of fast-hitting combat Corvette like Norway has. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you think the UK should have something like this? These things are like 10 year old and yet they're getting their lifespan um, made longer because of the need for them right now. And so, uh, yeah, I think that there is a purpose for it. They've got more than a thousand of them, apparently. Why does the UK not have something like this? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you want to go and watch the Forces News video down in the description, it will be down there. If you want to watch it without me waffling over the top, you can certainly go and do that. Um, I, ha I feel like I have a lot of thoughts about it that I need to think about and maybe we can make another video on something like this about about the needs of the UK military and what we actually need over here um, because we need to sort our military out big time and I think we can all agree on that anyways until next time I love you all have a wonderful day goodbye